It's Wednesday, May 3rd, 2023, and I'm Dave Soul. Two things to know today. Researchers identify the traits of successful Zoom conversationalists and debunk myths about video chat. And ransomware is a persistent threat now, and implementation plan is expected for the national cybersecurity soon. Both coming from RSA. This is the business of tech. Ready to learn and connect with industry leaders and peers about the future of IT? Sign up now for a Terraverse, May 3rd and 4th, entirely online. With industry experts from Microsoft, Zoom, Atera, Malwarebytes, Bitdefender, and more, you'll get two full days of content. And keynote address from Mike Massimino, astronaut, professor, author, and speaker. And I'll be there with an AMA with the leadership at Atera. Find out more at atera.com and sign up for this free event. This research is just catnip for me. Researchers on behalf of the coaching platform BetterUp looked into successful Zoom usage, and they built a database of how people interact on Zoom and had conversations rated, looking for what worked. The highest rated conversationalists had a few things in common. They spoke generally 3% faster, about six additional words per minute. They varied their volume, possibly because they were adjusting to the room. They nodded and shook their heads more often, signaling appropriate responses and attentiveness. They mixed it up, but not too much. They knew how to stay on topic and they introduced more subject changes. And finally, they were more intense exhibiting more emotion. And the things they didn't find? There's no evidence that people dislike Zoom and that chatting on Zoom does make people happy, even on Zoom. And how about video chat making it hard for people to have smooth conversations? Turns out that's not true either. Why do we care? There's a difference between technology working and technology being effective. Which offer do you think customers value more, having Zoom be available or teaching leaders how to effectively deliver messaging via the medium? Many successful providers couple training offerings with their services offerings. What I find most notable here is that the ones who lean into success do so moving beyond just reaching what a product does. And research like this is the input to developing those courses. I wanted to pick up a couple of threads from RSA from last week. Axios said the thing out loud, quote, ransomware is a forever problem now. I wanted to quote two sentences from their piece focusing on a shift to the problem being endemic. Quote, conversations about ransomware at RSA have shifted from viewing it as an easily squashed nuisance to seeing it as a persistent threat. And, quote, ransomware now is treated like any other crime that's not expected to easily be solved or to vanish after a couple of key arrests, experts told Axios. The Biden administration had several representatives out at RSA last week, and not just from CISA, the State Department's ambassador at large, as well as the Office of the National Cyber Director, were on site. And from the show, the word is that the implementation plan for the National Cyber Strategy could be available by early summer, per the acting National Cyber Director, Kemba Walden, during a roundtable discussion at the RSA conference. Quote, when this implementation plan is published, it's not going to be sexy, Walden joked. It's really going to be about who's accountable for what, who's responsible for what in the policymaking process. Why do we care? Endemic isn't reduced although I would call the span problem endemic, and that has been reduced. Reducing the financial incentives continues to be my sense of value here. The U.S. government is doing its part to make that happen. It's up to the private sector to do its part, which is why we care. That's the work of this audience. And there does appear to be a solid partner in the U.S. government in fighting back. Ditch your VPN. VPNs are awful. Outdated, clunky, hard to use, and create security vulnerabilities. TwinGate's zero-trust network access is easy to deploy and even easier to use and manage, while always making resources secure and invisible. With native integrations with MDMs, EDRs, and DNS filters, 
TwinGate enhances your security with the full power of your cybersecurity stack. TwinGate melts into the background, providing intuitive access and lightning-fast connections with the lowest latency. You'll forget you're using a remote access solution at all. Want to learn more? Check out the white paper on why you should ditch your VPN at TwinGate.com slash podcast. Thanks for listening. Today, National Skilled Trades Day. Let's pay attention to that one. We're a related field being in technology. I will talk to you again tomorrow. The Business of Tech is written and produced by me, Dave Sobel, under ethics guidelines posted at businessof.tech. Like the content? Support the show at patreon.com slash MSP radio or buy our Why Do We Care merch at businessof.tech. If you want to reach our listeners, visit mspradio.com slash engage. <laughs>